Hi guys, it's me. What the hell was that? I'm sorry, I can't introduce videos because I'm uncomfortably weird. I'm I'm like half tired and half like really hyper because I've had two coffees in the last like three hours. Um, and that might not be a lot, but for someone who's just started drinking it, that's a lot. So, I'm really hot as well, um, basically, this is my New York haul, uh, yes, I now have two vlog thingies that let me go to New York, if you haven't already seen my New York vlogs, I think there's two, I don't know, at this current moment I haven't finished editing them, um, well I finished editing them, who cares, honestly, right, so, today is my haul, this is my third America haul, but I'm going to call this my New York haul because uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I spent a lot of money again. What can I say? I save up my own money. It's my money. A lot of it was my birthday money. So don't come for me. Not that anyone will because I have two subscribers. Um, but yeah, watch the vlogs before you watch this. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you should just watch the vlogs in general. Maybe after this. Um, I don't know when they're going up and try and get them up as soon as possible, it doesn't matter, you will have seen them by now, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to get into it and shut up. So, basically, I bought food, <laughs> and I've eaten it. So I'm just going to tell you, I bought a massive packet of Swedish fish, a massive packet... Are you okay, hun? Massive packet of... Sour Patch Kids, two big bags of Cheetos, already eaten one. The other one is over there. Some M&Ms, which you've probably seen in my vlog. And icebreakers, which you probably won't have seen. Um, they've changed the packaging. Basically, it's a lot cheaper to buy them in America, apart from I only bought one of these, because it's $4. And that's the same price that it is here, so I just figured I'm just, just going to get one packet of these and two packets of these. Because these are constantly sold out everywhere. That's why I couldn't find them. That's why I got them in the airport. Because they're always sold out everywhere. Because they're so much nicer than these ones. Which are always in stock. But I eat them anyway. So I bought them. I haven't eaten them yet. Because um, I'll probably put a pack in my school bag. When I go back to school. Which is in like a month. So I don't really know why I'm thinking about that. Because I'm not going back to school. Because it's a new school. Other than that, I just bought makeup, pretty much. I bought a necklace, which was in the vlogs, but I'm going to show you it anyway. Mm, just briefly, it's from Urban Outfitters. It's not in focus, and I don't want to focus it. So, it's got cherries on, and it's silver, and I haven't worn this yet, but I'm going out tomorrow, and I'm going to wear it. I need to decide what I'm wearing tomorrow. Oh, well. And then, I spent a lot a lot, a lot of money on makeup. This is one bag, right? But when I, like, it was two. One of them is far around, one was an older bag. Can you... I'm not going to tell you how much I spent because I think... That's a bit weird and a bit braggy. I don't know. And yeah. Okay, so actually I'm going to show you these first. I bought these makeup wipes and they are actually the best makeup wipes I've ever used in my life. They're the Neutrogena ones. The deep clean pure flying three in one makeup wipes. I don't know if you can get these here. I think you might be able to get them in Costco. And if you can, I don't have a Costco card, but my stepdad does, so I'm gonna get like 300 packets of them. Because when I can't be bothered to take my makeup off properly, honestly, they get rid of everything. Like, I've never had makeup wipes that actually take all your makeup off, but they actually do. So, I don't use them all the time, but, well, I've only worn makeup like three times since I bought them, but, they're so good. So, if you like, do live in America, which I don't know how many of my viewers, that's gross, actually are American, get them. They're so good. They just take everything off, and it's going to make my life so much easier after parties, because you know when you're really tired, I'm rambling. You know when you're really tired, and you don't want to take your makeup off? Yeah, because my makeup skincare routine like, takes like 20 minutes. Everyone gets really annoyed at me because I'm hogging the bathroom when people need to like throw up and stuff, so. I'm just going to 
can tell you where I got things um, because it's just like a massive bag and I don't want to have to like separate it up. So, while we're on the topic, I'm talking so fast. While we're on the topic of makeup removal, I also got the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Again, this is incredible. I used to use the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish to take my makeup off. I literally, I don't even know how many tubes of that I went through, like bottles. I used it for about three years and I must, actually no, I've been using that since year eight. And I literally stopped using it about a month ago. So what, like, what's that, four years? Four, yeah, it must be four years. I went through at least like nine, nine, ten bottles of that. But it's good. But this, everyone raves about this and I've been wanting to get it for like a year and a half, two years. It was expensive expensive so yeah but it is really really good if you can get it in duty free get it in duty free i'm gonna get my dad to get it in duty free when this runs out this is from ulta by the way i'm so excited to get this over and done with so i'm gonna put this all away um i might run out of space in my drawers soon so interesting but what can you do I got this Colourpop palette. I'm annoyed at myself for not getting more stuff from Colourpop, but I'm annoyed at myself for a lot of things, so. Um, this is the Yes Please palette. Again, wish I'd got a different one because I have probably have all of these colours, but they're so good. This is $16. I would literally pay like $30, $40 for this. Like, these are incredible. They're a bit, um, it's a bit of a mess because they do fall out, but who cares? They're so good. Everyone's going to moan at me because I have so many palettes like this. It's incredible. I'm not going to lie. I w wish I could buy so much more of these. But again, I'm not about to pay like £300 to ship them over because that's what you have to do for Colourpop. So. And Wildflower, which is the case I didn't get. And I'm so, so angry at myself. I'm actually going to get that shipped over. Just by the way, side note, I'm waiting till next month and I'm getting that phone case. I've got quite a few lipsticks because I don't actually have that many compared to everything else in my collection. They don't tend to fill a whole drawer, which bugs me because when the drawers are full and you go into that one, it's like, right. So I try to get some that I like, but I end up just getting more nudes because it's me. Okay, so again, I'm just pulling them out. This is the Anastasia Ashton lips, liquid lipstick. I love this so much. This is like my new nude. Um, I know I just got a new nude for my birthday, but I really like this. It's like a brown tone. If you've been here from the start, which is no one, um, I used to love Exposed by Kylie Cosmetics. Um, <laughs> right. And I ran out. And I'm not about to spend the money to get it shipped over again because I'm broke. I got this and it's really good and I love it. So, yeah, I'm a big fan. It was free, it, as it was National Lipstick Day. I got a second free one, which I can find. Is that it? No. Okay, I can't find it, but basically it's Alison because I just picked it up because I was panicking so that tells she's like, you know, you can get a free one. So I just ran over and picked up one that everyone uses. So... Here it is. It's called Alison, but I don't like it. So I'm giving this to my sister because it was free, so. And then I think this is the final lipstick I got. There's a Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in Child Star, because again, everyone loves this. My sister has this, my best friend has this. And I thought I'd try it, and I do really like it. I think I wore it in a vlog, maybe. I don't know. Why do I put my hair behind my ear? That's not cute. Um, but yeah, it's really good. Not that I didn't have enough like pinky nudes because I don't wear pinky nudes because I'm a brownie person. Why do I keep doing this? I literally do this every two seconds. Okay, from Ulta, I got a new shape tape that actually matches me and isn't whiter than. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something funny then, but. I'm not funny, so. It's really good. Yeah, I got a new shape tape and it's really good and I miss this so much. This is the third tube I have had, considering you can't get it in this country. Tee hee, I love myself. Yeah, but it's worth it, can I just say. 
uh, from Sephora. I got five face masks. I used one on the plane. Check out the vlogs for that one. Yeah, um, I got all of the face masks that you can get. I didn't get any eye masks or anything. I just got the face ones. So, the one I used was like, it's a new one. It was like they're protecting and detoxifying, I think. Probably. It's really good. Yeah, I didn't actually break out that bad, so... Yeah, I also got the Rose Ultra Moisturising and Brightening, the Green Tea Mattifying Anti Blemish, which is my favourite, I think. Perfecting and Brightening, it's a pearl, a pearl one. And I think this one's new. Pore Perfecting and Smoothing, it's the pineapple one. Tell me if this is new, because I've never seen this before, and I didn't see the current one before, but that's just because probably because I bought these three a lot. They're relatively cheap, you know, they were like £5 and I got two free because again, sale. Because I spent so much, I got loads of points as well, I got about 400 points which seemed to happen. My camera just glitched, I hope that was okay. Seems to happen every time that I go into Sephora, I spend the same amount of money and I get 400 points. I still have 200 points on my card but I couldn't find any points that I like, any other points things that I liked. So, yeah. I always get points things. I got two mascaras, because mini mascaras are the way forward, especially when you get them free. This is my favourite mascara of all time. It's the Lux Camera Lashes one by Tarte. Again, I have gone through two tubes and a mini tube. And no mini tube. Um, now, so yeah, that's like my favourite mascara ever. And then I got the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I've had this before, I didn't use it and then it dried out. I'm pretty sure I gave it to a friend actually. Oh, someone stole it. I don't actually remember, but. Yeah, I've never tried it before, but everyone likes it. Well, not everyone, people I know like it. So. Why am I talking? So, like, I'm out of breath. This is what coffee does to me. I really like it. Like, people say it's addictive. I used to not like it. I've had two today. I've never had. Moving on, I got some boring stuff that I just need the top ups of that have run out. So I got a new eyebrow gel. It's the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. I use this every day. Mine is running out. Yep. I also got, where is it? A new dip brow because mine is on its last legs and I keep adding bio oil to it like every week. I haven't actually got that on today because I used my Benefit one again and I kind of like it, but I think I need my eyebrows doing, so I look really bad. It's interesting. I was going to do makeup, and then I couldn't be bothered, so. Um, but anyway, I just put a new one down because it's like, it's my brow gel. I need another one. Mine's running out, so. Yeah. Um, this video is going to be relatively short, considering most of my hauls are really long. I'm going to leave the drugstore stuff to last, I'm pretty sure I haven't got any stuff out. Yep, no. Um, that's just a container, Ashton. Oh, I got a new Too Faced sketch marker, because this eyeliner is the best. And it's so underrated, it's completely matte, like, it's so good. I got charcoal black, and I don't think it's the blackest black, but they didn't have the black one. So I was like, this can't be darker, because why would you have a lighter black? I don't know. But apparently that is a lighter black, so I also got this eyelash glue because you can see them there in my vlogs. I ran out of eyelash glue. I've ordered a new one from Beauty Bay. It was dispatched on Saturday. It's Wednesday. And I still haven't got it. And I'm really annoyed about it because I can't wear makeup. Because I can't wear eyelashes and you think I'm not going to wear eyelashes? You're wrong. So... This eyelash glue is absolutely awful. Please don't buy this, because it's so bad. Um, but it was like the cheapest one they had, because they seem they're discontinuing the House of Lashes one from their Sephora line, because... Love it. <laughs> Love it. I also got this powder. I don't... I bought two loose powders. I don't know why, I, that's like the most boring thing you can buy and I have three already, like I don't need it anymore. Um, 
So I bought the Too Faced Peach Perfect one again, Thomas Hub again. No, I haven't mentioned Thomas Hub in this video. But he really likes this. Um, and it is good. It's good, but again, kind of regret buying it because like, why, why I bought it, I don't know. I just saw him pick it up, so. I think this is, yeah, they've got the last two high-end things. Oh no, three. So, I decided, well, I've wanted the Lily Lashes in Miami, so that's what this is by the way, they're here, for literally ages, obviously, everyone loves them, and I was never going to buy them, honestly, I wasn't, I was going to wait till they went on sale one day and they were like £15 at the most, and then I saw them in Sephora and I was like, whoa, they're so pretty, and I didn't look at what they were, and then I picked them up, and I saw they were Miami's, and I was like, you know, if I see them, like I never look at it and go, wow, they're so pretty. If I've seen them and done that, they're worth it. $30, so it's about $20 and then like $35 on Beauty, no, £35 on Beauty Bay. So I got money off, but they're so precious to me, I kind of never want to wear them. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. And then I bought a NARS creamy concealer I think this is too dark honestly it will work when I have foundation on I hope I don't know I tried to do my makeup the other day and gave up and took it all off and then did my makeup but yeah I haven't used this in a while I have gone through two tubes of this in the wrong colour and then I got a lighter colour and it's still too dark so that's my life and then just usual things. I got a new beauty vendor. Again, annoyed at myself for not getting the Morphe one because I was in Ulta and I could have got the Morphe one. I got the M44 brush by Morphe. That's not in this bag because I've used it like a hundred times already, but I did get that. And it lives up to the hype. It is the best blending brush I've ever used in my life. And I want to get 20 more. Whether I will, it's a different story. Because I don't even think you can get them in this country, which is stupid and annoying. Why, why are you doing that Morphe? Okay, the next things are like drugstore, but I think I got most of them in Ulta, so they're not actually drugstore. So I got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, which is really good. Like, not using it, I was like, this is like average. Um, also, came home and Wet n Wild is now on Beauty Bay, so that's not annoying. Yeah. So, I got that, um, and it is good, it, it looks really nice on, uh, I don't think it did, but then the best, I looked the best the day I wore that, so it's got to be pretty decent. Um, I also got the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, because everyone raves about this, including Sophia and Chinsia, who are the loves of my life. But you can only get this in America, so I got it, and I got it in shade Fairlight. Um, which again, every time I say that, I hate that Chintia's voice because they didn't have the translucent one. So I then got the Physician Chalmia Butter Bronzer. This is good. This smells. Oh my god! It smells like my favorite after sun. And if you know what my favorite after sun means to me, then <laughs> yeah, this is incredible. Oh. I just love it so much. Um, and now that scent reminds me of New York as well, so that's good. By the way, my favourite after scent reminds me of my holiday in 2014, which is the best holiday I've ever had, so... Oh my god, people are going to think that's about someone and it's not. No, okay, right, just moving on. This bronzer smells good, it's really good. Yeah, I wouldn't say it lives up to the hype, however, it's not that good. Calm down, hands. who knows better. Final things I got, which were actually, were these the final things I bought? No, food was the final things I bought, but I got the Age Rewind things. I got the Age Rewind concealer, which I've had before, twice, um, because I haven't used it in a while, and I now remember why, because it's not that good. Also, I bought this because I'd seen it, everyone using it, it's the foundation, Adrian foundation, because I'd seen everyone use it, and I was like, wow, must be good then, and the day I went shopping when I was getting ready, I was watching Anastasia's makeup collection, 
and she had this, she was like, yeah, it's really good, like, going to get an American, I was like, well, I'm in America, I'm going to get it. It's really not that good, I'm so disappointed, it was $15. That's not, surely that's not drugstore, like, that's what's bugging me. Drugstore prices aren't drugstore anymore. It's really freaking annoying. So, I wouldn't recommend this. I'm still going to use it because I've got it now, so I might as well, but i will probably wear it for school, honestly, because it's quite light coverage. But yeah, that's everything I bought. I am rich, you are not. I wish I was smart enough to put Tanamojo's face all over the screen right now. Did I just say I'm smart? No, I didn't. That keeps happening to me, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go put this all away now. I don't know what the time is, but I have dance at some point today. That's why I don't put full face makeup on. I also need to finish editing my vlog and upload it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't say I'm bragging, because I'm not. Um, yeah, I didn't stick to my summer schedule thing that I said I was going to do. Or my yearly one, which I said I was going to upload at least 52 videos. Guess what? I've uploaded six. And it's August. So. Yeah. I'm going to go, put this away, get changed, get ready for dance. I'm sorry this video was shit. It hurts more for me than it does for you. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm gonna crash now because the caffeine is running out and I'm probably gonna go make another coffee. That's not good for me, but <laughs> it will. See you in a bit all. Cool outro card. Cue it. Oh yeah. I am a real YouTuber. I'm not pretty. That's not.